let's come back and see benzoic acid conversions further now before going into the benzoic acid conversions now till now what do we do we are we have seen converting other elements into benzoic acid right uh, i'm left with one more which is very important then i'll come back to benzoic acid conversions now in the exam paper if they give you to convert nitrobenzene to benzoic acid this is what is given to you in the paper nitrobenzene to benzoic acid let me see so for this i'll give you a small trick how to remember so basically nitrobenzene they've given you right that is nothing but your benzene with no2 isn't it done what should i convert it to i have to convert this into benzoic acid that is benzene ring with coh so when you have this combination remember just remember this nitro and acid is here isn't it so n and acid both are here in between the steps which will include is a b c this is your step remember nitrobenzene aniline uh, uh, nitrobenzene and acid so this is acid this is nitro group so in between you're going to follow abc steps what are the abc steps let's see first as soon as you get nitrobenzene try to convert it into aniline right the first step a stands for aniline how can i convert it into aniline now i said here uh, <clears throat> this is no2 by using reducing agents like hydrogen in the presence of palladium or snhcl i can convert now a is done from a you are going to convert it to b that is bdc what is bdc c 6 h 5 n 2 cl is bdc so how to convert aniline to bdc we very well know we have used this any no2 and hcl converting aniline to bdc at how much temperature 273 kelvin to 278 kelvin this is also over now bdc now c from bdc what do you do now you are going to introduce to this right uh, copper cyanide in the presence of casein okay i'm very le less space i'll do it here so copper cyanide then what happened nitrogen gas is out copper chloride is out what are you left with cyano so you're getting cn group to this cn group now what do you do you're going to do hydrolysis or uh, h3o plus in the presence of acidic medium h3o plus you'll be doing hydrolysis that's it so remember whenever they give you nitro here and acid here the steps to be followed are abc this is your sequence let's come back and see the next type of reactions here now what are we going to do we're going to learn or study all the conversions of benzoic acid now what are the different uh, conversions which you have for your prescribed syllabus let me write so benzoic acid converting into like uh, if they ask you they may ask you a combination of meta nitro benzyl alcohol they may ask you this meta nitro benzyl alcohol or they may ask you to convert benzoic acid into aniline or they may ask you to convert benzoic acid into benzaldehyde benzaldehyde this is what they're going to ask you maximum number of combinations now let us start with the first one what is the first one yeah, i have to convert benzoic acid into into meta nitro benzyl alcohol this is what is given to us okay don't get panic if you see this simple let us write the structure first what is the structure they've asked me benzoic acid let me write benzoic acid here then they've asked me meta nitro benzyl alcohol so what actually is this this is you have okay or para para ortho ortho meta meta at meta position you have nitro group they said benzyl alcohol so benzyl alcohol is something where you have oh group attached to ch2 group directly not but to ch2 group this is meta nitro benzyl alcohol now when you observe you here you have acid group here you have alcoholic group simple isn't it first thing what should you do i can convert from acid to alcohol by removing this oxygen adding hydrogen that is nothing but production simple acid to alcohol direct link that is what we have studied how can i do from uh, alcohol on <coughs> reduction comes converts it into acid this is what we have studied okay this step i can do so what should what else should i add nitrogen nitro group so simple isn't it i can do a process called nitration to this when i do nitration in the presence of nitrating mixture that is concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 what do i get i'm going to add a nitro group right we very studied nitro is meta directing group the maximum product is meta so what do i get i'm going to get 
your COH with NO2 in the meta position. Done. Now, what did I see? I have to remove this oxygen. Okay, let me use one more color, then you will understand. I need to remove this oxygen from here and add hydrogen to this. What is this? Addition of hydrogen is nothing but reduction. I can use which agent? I can use a reducing agent of lithium aluminium hydride. Then automatically oxygen is lost and hydrogen is added. How many hydrogens? Two hydrogens. That is your metanitro benzoic acid. So the first one is over. Metanitro benzyl, uh, benzyl alcohol. Simple, isn't it? See the group, what to add, and use the required reagents. Now let me see one more comment. They asked me to convert benzene to an ben, uh, benzoic acid to aniline. So simple. Let us write the uh, this one. What did they ask me? Okay, let me use a different page for this. So they've asked me to convert benzyl or sorry benzoic acid to aniline they've asked me to do this in the exam paper so simple as soon as this is given write the formula first now this is benzoic acid COH okay I need to convert it into aniline nothing to panic it's easy now <clears throat> what did I say whenever you have to convert or form this amine group you need to add ammonia so what do you have what happens suppose if I add ammonia to this NH3 what will happen the OH from here right now this OH will be replaced by this hydrogen basically ammonia is you need to get this bond right this is a bond so ammonia how can you change it can be H2 H2 and H right this water okay I'll use a different sketch pen this HOH and this comes out as water then this NH2 goes and adds here then this becomes CO NH2 benzamide now simple i am only left with this i i should take out um, conh2 so what am i going to do i am going to add to this like uh, a simple bromine in the presence of naoh you would have seen uh, preparation of um, uh, the aryl amines or preparation of primary amines right hoffman's bromide degradation method this is hoffman's bromide degradation method when i add this this comes out as nabr and that the whole thing like this is uh, out and you're left with naoh this is hoffman's from my degradation simple isn't it now let's see one more now what did i ask you that means whenever you see amine you need to add first ammonia to get that next reaction suppose if they ask me to convert benzoic acid into or to benzaldehyde that is what i have written yes benzoic acid to benzaldehyde then i have to see this let me see now write the formula aldehyde right this is c O O H. Now I have to convert it to benzaldehyde. This is CHO. Done. Right. Now what is this? This is acid. This is aldehyde. <coughs> now again, uh, uh, this is Hoffman's bromide acid. Now we'll we'll use one more different type of um, uh, name reaction. Now whenever you see benzaldehyde, you have to remember the name reaction which prepares benzaldehyde is Rosenmund reduction. Yes, I can prepare benzaldehyde using Rosenmund specific characteristics. If you are uh, trying to prepare here uh, Hoffman's bromide, but here Rosenmund reduction is used to prepare benzaldehydes. So I can use that Rosenmund reduction. Okay, Rosenmund reduction. So what is Rosenmund reduction in the presence of palladium and barium sulfate? Okay, from where is this prepared? Or this is uh, we are getting we Rosenmund reduction basically tries to use acyl chlorides, isn't it? Or this is your group CO. CL right done benzoyl chlorides so this benzoyl chloride in the presence of reduction you will get that uh, uh, in the presence of palladium barium sulfate as a reducing agent it will get converted to benzaldehyde but how did I get this that means we are we are going back again to our first chapter where we are using thionyl chloride I can comfortably introduce thionyl chloride SO Cl2 to this so SO2 I said it comes out as SO2 sulfur dioxide gas and I also said HCl also would be out and the leftover Cl SO2 is out from here HCl is out and one Cl goes and joins here. That's it, isn't it? So benzaldehyde, if you see, Rosenman reduction. Rosenman reduction uses benzoyl chloride. Benzoyl chloride, I got it from thionyl chloride, isn't it? So that is how you're going to uh, like convert it. And uh, these are the maximum uh, conversions of benzoic acid which you have. Now, suppose if I have to go to the next type of conversion, what did they ask me? I have already given you in the index. If they ask you to convert, what is that? Now, we'll see. Uh, we will write the question first we have to learn if they ask me convert benzyl alcohol or benzyl chloride we will do benzyl chloride 
this is the thing there are two possibilities they may ask you to convert benzyl chloride to two phenyl ethanamine ethanamine they may also ask you benzyl chloride to benzyl alcohol this is what is a combination two right we will see both the combinations how to do let me change the page now so i have to convert benzyl chloride isn't it now what is the formula for benzyl chloride when i have to convert so i will so we let us write what to do first first in the exam paper if they ask me to convert benzyl chloride chloride to two phenyl ether namine correct let us write the formula benzyl chloride is what this is basically benzene ring with ch2cl this is benzyl chloride they said two phenyl ethanamine so what should i do i have to take the uh, benzene ring now this is two phenyl ethanamine eth two carbons ethanamine is two carbons one and two amine is there already nh2 so filling the hydrogens one two three four one two this is two this is uh, two phenyl second carbon two phenyl ethanamine this is over now when i have to see like see here now uh, when i see this compound and this uh, compound this ch2 is already there one ch2 is already there i need to introduce this ch2 nh2 isn't it now where will i get this ch2 and h2 let me see if i close this hydrogen here if i close this hydrogen here you are left with only cyano group isn't it just see carefully this is cyano group so i can i can get this compound from uh, cyano or if i have to say uh, c6h5 ch2 cn because c6h5 ch2 cn let us come back and write that i can get this product from this see here benzene ring this ch2 is here and cyano correct now what did i do i need to add hydrogen to this when i add hydrogen how many hydrogens 2 plus 2 4 4 hydrogens which will add this reducing agent what is the reducing agent lithium aluminium hydride i also did one video compared to lithium aluminium hydride and sodium borohydride which is better so i picked up lithium aluminium hydride done i have already given this reason now from here till here you need to introduce uh, you need to take out this chlorine you need to introduce cyano simple isn't it i can add <coughs> your uh, kc into this when i add kc into this what do we get i get kcl how did i do i took out this kcl from this and i introduced cn i got this to this cn I, as i showed you two hydrogens here and two hydrogens here done benzyl chloride to two phenyl ethanamine now let us write one more suppose if they ask me to convert benzyl chloride benzyl chloride to benzyl alcohol so simple they are relating halo alkene uh, sorry halo arenes chapter and alcohol chapter benzyl alcohol i need to do this let's see first let us write the formula benzyl chloride ch2cl benzyl chloride now i have to convert this into benzyl alcohol ch2oh now what is the difference ring is the same ch2 is the same cl and oh both are different now yes so now what should you do you need to introduce that <coughs> or you need to take out that cl from there yeah you can take out that cl and make it into uh, this in uh, oxide phenoxide ion and then come back to alcohol so to take out or to change uh, remove this cl i think i can introduce naoh when i introduce naoh what will happen i am going to take out nacl first minus nacl now gradually what did you get you got uh, oh directly but here suppose in the exam paper if they ask you to convert the same in two steps right if they give you write in two steps then i here directly if i take out that oh goes and done but suppose as, as i said two steps what should you do i'll tell you so now see here take benzyl chloride two steps first step is this this, this is a given thing now i you're going to introduce naoh now what will happen it's going to form a stable compound this cl and this h comes out i'm doing it in two steps now this is two steps so in step one or the, this is your step one what is that this is o ch2 o na this is step one now to the second step what am i going to do because they asked me in two steps this i'm going to use the acidic medium this is come this comes out and this goes and forms ch2 oh 
That means that basically if we take the acidic medium, if I take HCl here, NaCl comes out and H plus goes in. So benzene and alcohol. This is two step process. This is one step process. So let us come back and see different set of reactions now.